Scientists are scrambling to fight climate change, but their work will be all for naught if they fail to learn a fundamental lesson from the COVID-19 crisis. I'm Dan Riskin. As you well know, despite tons of evidence about how well COVID-19 vaccines protect people, not everyone wants to take one. For a lot of the scientists who are battling COVID-19, this isn't just frustrating, it's baffling. Look at the graph. It's obvious that they're safe and effective. Why isn't everyone on board? Well, we know now that there are several reasons for vaccine hesitancy. And yes, misinformation is a huge factor, but the fundamental drivers run much more deep. They have to do with how much people trust scientists. This is gonna be a central issue with climate change. For example, in BC, scientists have plans to fight the effects of climate change on forests by planting trees from hotter, drier areas in new places that are currently cooler and more humid. The logic is that as those areas change with climate change over the decades, the trees growing there will be ready for the environment they grow up in. Scientists believe this might help protect BC's forests, but if they wanna put that plan in action, they'll need communities to be on board. Well, a new study surveyed community members across BC in Campbell River, Cranbrook, Kamloops, and Prince George, asking about their enthusiasm for this kind of plan. And what the researchers found was, not everyone is on board. And just like with vaccines, people's trust in the plan is linked to how much they trust scientists to protect their forests. So the lesson is clear. Any scientific solutions to climate change will only work if people trust scientists. And that means that building bridges between scientists and the communities that they serve is arguably just as important as the science itself. For CTVnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.